Hello friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Say this with me. Religion is bad. Say it. Religion is bad. Following man-made rules to get to God is bad. See, religion creates obstacles to get to God. Religion drives people away from God. And when the church becomes religious, it can drive people away from God as well. That's right, the church, the bride of Christ, uh, the church that is called and created to point people to Jesus can become so religious, we wind up doing the exact opposite of what we are created and designed and supposed to do. Instead of leading people to a life-changing relationship with God, the church can become so cold, so religious, so intent on following regulations and customs that we as a church drive others further away from the heart of God. And in the words of my bus driver, that ain't good. Listen to this encounter from Mark, Mark chapter 3, verses 1 through 6, and take note of Jesus' anger at the religious people. Jesus went into the synagogue again and noticed a man with a deformed hand. Since it was the Sabbath, Jesus' enemies watched him closely. If he healed the man's hand, they planned to accuse him of working on the Sabbath. Jesus said to the man with the deformed hand, Come and stand in front of everyone. Then he turned to his critics and asked, Does the law permit good deeds on the Sabbath, or is it a day for doing evil? Is this a day to save life or to destroy it? But they wouldn't answer him. He looked around at them angrily and was deeply saddened by their hard hearts. Then he said to the man, hold out your hand. So the man held out his hand and it was restored. At once the Pharisees went away and met with the supporters of Herod to plot how to kill Jesus. See, these religious people were so in love with their rules, they were so in love with their regulations, that they did not celebrate and rejoice that this man's hand had been healed. They saw a miracle right before their eyes. They saw it unfold. They saw that hand grow out. And their hearts were so cold, so calloused, and they did not care one bit. When you and I become more concerned about rules and regulations, we will push people further away from Jesus. So if you find yourself caught up in religion, remember God wants a relationship with us. He sees you just as he saw the man with the withered hand in the temple. He sees you right now. He loves you. So choose today that you will focus on your relationship with him and you will kick your religiousness to the curb. If today's word for the day has blessed you, apply it, like it, and share it, or leave a comment. God bless.